Welcome to British Royal Family Updates. A smiley Duchess of Sussex has been seen in public for the first time since the coronation of King Charles and her son Archie's fourth birthday. There was no sign of hubby Harry or their children as she joined friends for a stroll in the California sunshine. Sorry for interrupting. Before we continue, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Thank you. Sweet details about Prince Archie's fourth birthday have emerged after Meghan Markle was seen in public for the first time since the coronation of King Charles. But there was no sign of her husband Prince Harry, who jetted back to California just hours after the ceremony. It's believed the Duke dashed back to spend time with his son on his special day, after a huge day for the UK. Although invited, the Duchess of Sussex did not attend the historic coronation. Instead, she stayed at home in California with Princess Lilibet and Archie, who celebrated his fourth birthday on the day of his grandfather's coronation. Consequently, the Duke went to the coronation alone. And he headed to Heathrow Airport straight after it finished, so he could jet back to the States to spend time with his son and family. Meghan his sources say stayed home to celebrate Archie's birthday because she felt it would be inauthentic to do anything else Dash has now been pictured in public for the first time. She was seen hiking with friends near her home in Montecito but neither Harry, nor either of their children, were seen with them. She was instead with friends Marcus Anderson and Heather Dorak, who she has known for many years. The former actress was out in the sun wearing a wide-brimmed hat, sunglasses and scarf. Photographs appear to show her in good spirits and flashing a radiant smile. As for Archie's birthday, Meghan reportedly held a low-key party. It's believed Harry was able to make it back to enjoy some of the fun. And a family friend told the Mail Online that Meghan made Archie a special lemon cake using fruit from their garden. Earlier this year the Duchess contributed her lemon olive oil cake recipe to a charity cookbook. In a post shared Archwell website back in March, the Sussexes announced Meghan had contributed the recipe to the World Central Kitchen Cookbook. Feeding humanity, feeding hope. She also used lemons picked fresh from her own garden to make the treat for World Central Kitchen in March 2021. Prince William made a sneaky dig at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during his King Charles's coronation concert, royal fans believe. On Sunday evening, the Prince of Wales delivered a heartfelt speech dedicated to his father and the key workers of Britain, which was cheered by thousands of people. During the speech, he said that the late Queen would be a proud mum, seeing her son being crowned king, and thanked his pa for his commitment. However, he also appeared to make reference to a barb thrown out by the Sussexes, who once said, We can all live a life of service. Service is universal. In his powerful speech, William said, for all that celebrations are magnificent, at the heart of the pageantry is a simple message service. The message was immediately picked up by social media users who thought it was a dig at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Confirming the development, a statement was released by Buckingham Palace about them stepping away from their duties. It read, Following conversations with the Duke, the Queen has written confirming that in stepping away from the work of a royal family, it is not possible to continue with responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service. They hit back by issuing their own statement, which read, We can all live a life of service. Service is universal. The statement had caused a stir at that time, with several pointing out they would now be doing more commercial work and less for charities in order to support themselves financially. Meanwhile, during his speech, William got huge cheers from the 20,000 people in attendance at the concert, including thousands of heroes from the coronavirus pandemic. He dropped in a dad joke in reference to headliner Lionel Richie, promising not to go on all night long. He continued, I want to say a few words about my father and why I believe this weekend is so important. As my grandmother said when she was crowned, coronations are a declaration of our hopes for the future. And I know she's up there, fondly keeping an eye on us. She would be a proud mother. At the end of his big moment, William gave a final tribute to his beloved father, which left many in.